So today's video will be interesting. We are going to be doing Sims that could have been with my Not So Berry Sims. If you haven't watched my Not So Berry series, go ahead and watch it. There is a bunch of episodes and I am now on the final gen almost. And if you don't know what Sims that could have been, I've done a bunch of these videos in the past. It's basically scenarios or situations with characters that we had in my Sims series that almost ended up together, but didn't. We go ahead and imagine what their Sim babies would have looked like. So I asked you guys who you wanted to see. There was a lot of great suggestions, but I thought we'd do it from recent people just because it makes it much easier to try and grab all the sims needed because their ghosts are still roaming the sim world so today i thought we would do first of all clem actually no i'm gonna save clem and zach who were childhood friends zach um seemed like he had a childhood crush on clem but he was too much of a good boy clem ended up going for bad boy keenan in the end i'm gonna save those guys for the end because i'm actually the most excited about that one i'm also gonna do robin and some kind of voice from her past so again a childhood friend trey they actually never saw each other as attractive so it was never a thing anyway and then austin who she worked with but who ended up getting married before or like the game married him off before we could ever make a move so i thought we would do those today and i'm really excited to see how they will all go and i'm gonna start with robin and austin so what i did actually before i started to grab all these guys into cast is i added them all to a household just to see what the attractiveness rating of everybody was and austin did actually have a huge crush on robin found robin very attractive i think the sims that i use my notes to bury are kind of like universally beautiful in sim world so i'm gonna randomize three times with this and i'm gonna go for the same gender as what we ended up using for the next air which was a female sim so we're gonna go for a toddler and we're gonna do that's number one really cute by the way that's number two that is very austin and then here is number three Okay, so this is our starting sim. And the next gen after this was green. So green eyes is actually pretty perfect. I am going to go for some beautiful green eyes. Let's go for these kind of soft green eyes right here. And then in terms of skin details and stuff, I'm going to go for similar to the parents. So Robin looks like this, has little rosy cheeks and a few freckles. And then Austin has red hair. Oh, red hair, green eyes. I might go ahead and because the next gen has green hair, because my next gen is green, because these are sims that, you know, will not be. I'm going to let them have hair color that I think they would have based on their parents. So I kind of think for this daughter, who's called Irvin, by the way, because we've got the beautiful green eyes that have immediately changed, interestingly. I'm going to go for green eyes and red hair because the child naturally had green eyes. And I really like the idea of Austin's beautiful red hair passing on as well. So, oh, that's an angry child. Okay, these eyes are refusing to behave. Let's go ahead and imagine, first of all, the toddler. And then after we've seen what the toddler will look like, I will go ahead and age them up into an adult. And we'll see how they would have looked if they'd have been the heir. Okay, so I'm going to do this for skin details. For hair, I'm going to go for red hair. And I did notice actually that a lot of the babies that were generated did have curly hair. So I might keep a curly style for this child too. Oh my gosh, the Clem jeans are going to be so strong if I do this. Ooh this is interesting okay i'm gonna go for a soft curl because robin's hair is quite straight and then for her little outfit she wouldn't necessarily be green gen so she's been raised by two police officers so i kind of imagine her like in less dresses and more like little rompers so i think something like that looks really cute and then some little shoesies as well okay so you look absolutely adorable little Irvin, but how would you have looked if you were our heir? If you were a Robin and Austin, if they had made that work romance work, how would our next heir have looked? Let's give it a go in three, two, one. This is Irvin. You've definitely got Briar's height. Okay, so Austin wouldn't produce particularly tall children. I think you're definitely taller than Robin, but Robin's small genes are very strong. They were stronger than, than Austin's genes, but we are slightly taller. I actually think, you know, I think Briar is a hair taller than this. I think so. I think this is a cute sim. I definitely think this is a cute sim. Okay, let's go for some more brows. I feel like she's got quite a determined little face. Oh my gosh, is anyone else getting Cara Delevingne vibes? It's her eye shape and her eyebrows. I'm actually definitely going to keep those like quite strong brows because I feel like they really suit her. Let's calm the eyes down just a touch and then I'm going to pop your freckles back on. Oh my gosh, she's really cute. And then I've added this eyelid overlay, which I love as well because it's so similar as well to her eye shape. 
that it just ends up making her eyes look a lot more realistic. So that is the face. Let's go ahead and find her some hair. I like that it kept her hair red at least. I kind of want to keep that long, kind of curly, wavy hair. Maybe we go for like this kind. Yeah, because that looks so similar to her toddler hair, but just a little bit, bit more grown. Briar is like quite cyberpunk vibes. She's like a hacker, which she would have had to be if she was green gen, you know? So I'm going to go for like a similar, similar aesthetic with her but just mix it up a little bit because she's a different sim, you know? Okay, so I'm keeping the vibe the same because the household would barely have changed. She would have still been marrying a police officer. Although, of course, eventually Luke did switch and like follow his dreams of being a teacher instead. Wait, yeah, he did, he did. So they would definitely at least start very, very similarly. I like how this is for some reason making the laces gold. I think that's quite cool. But maybe they'd branch off differently over time. I don't know. But because she's got a similar environment, I'm gonna decorate her similarly. So I'm gonna keep her makeup very heavy. This will be fun actually, because we'll be able to do like a really direct comparison with Trey's kid. And I'm gonna go for dark lipstick too. Okay, so this is how a child of Austin and Robin would have looked at. For reference, Robin did marry a police officer as per the not so berry rules, but she married Luke instead, which resulted in Briar, who looks like this. So definitely a very different looking sim. I think I love Briar more personally, but I just think Briar is such a cool and interesting looking sim, and I really have enjoyed playing with her so far. So I'm team Briar, but honestly, I just think Robin makes really good looking children because Forrest and Zane in my main series are really beautiful as well. But I've got to say, Austin brings an absolutely beautiful set of jeans to the table. Let me know what you guys think of Irvin Barry in the comments below. And now we can do a direct contrast and compare with a child with Trey. So Trey was our childhood friend. He's dressed here in the clothes that he wore as an old man. But if you guys remember as a kid, he was really sporty. He was always in like track suits and he was like quite a sporty kid. Very much the opposite of Robin who was lazy, but they still found a really nice friendship. Okay, so how would a child between these guys compare? This is random number one. This is random number two. Oh, we need a grill. And this is random number three. Okay, so I actually really shipped these two, but we never actually knew how Trey felt about Robin. We always just knew Robin wasn't like that into Trey, but we didn't really know what the situation was the other way around. Now this child's been born with brown eyes, which I love. So we're gonna go ahead and keep those. And also was born with ready brown hair which is what Trey has as well. Because Robin's got pink hair, it's kind of hard to like pin down that from a genetic point of view. I'm gonna kind of probably go for the fathers a little bit more here. So yeah, I checked out what Trey felt for Robin because obviously we never knew that. And he did have a crush. When I was in live mode, he did find her very attractive. So I think unless Robin had have been like not keen, I feel like it would have happened. If it was up to Trey, they would have been together basically. But Trey ended up with Amy and obviously produced beautiful little Jaden, who is still in our main series, live and kicking. So everything happens for a reason. So let's keep that kind of like sandy, dark sandy brown ready kind of color. And oh my gosh, this little baby's so cute as well. All toddlers and sims are just cute though. They're just cute kids, you know? Now this child would have had definitely a little bit of a different vibe because they'd have been growing up in a bit more of a sporty household. Their parents wouldn't have been as so closely aligned and would actually have been quite opposite in some ways. So I feel like this might have reflected in their child a little bit too. So it's not given as a name, Let's go for Marielle. That's such a pretty name. What? Also, Trey has the hates children trait. It doesn't seem to have affected any of his children that much. But yeah, it could have ended up with, I don't know, more of a rebellious child. Who knows? But here is a little Maribel. Let me know what you think of her as a toddler. And now let's go ahead and turn it into a young adult. Could have been heir in three, two, one. Okay, I'm quite excited to compare these two because they even have similar hair colors and we've got them in cast side by side. Okay, I would say Marielle is definitely slightly taller because I can see a little bit more of her teeth in the bar at the bottom, like a hair's taller. So she's more similar in a height to Briar. So we're going to keep Trey's eye color. I also think her eye shape is much more Trey's eye shape as well, which is cool. These jeans, of course, could come out if there's a uh, baby between Briar and Jaden on the horizon. So keep your eyes peeled because Jaden is Trey's uh, child. Okay, so I'm going to go for this skin, which lets me show the original eyelids through. Yeah, there we go. And I think this is a similar, I think this is a skin that I use on Trey as well, or very similar. 
So that works quite well. We'll keep those freckles that we had as a kid. And I'm kind of giving her a little bit of a um, a cheeky smirk. I'm just deciding which side to put it on. I like the idea that she's quite feisty. She has feisty energy, despite her name. Her name is Marielle, but I feel like she'd be like, just call me Mari, just call me Mari. Like, it's too pretty for her. Like, she wants to be a bit more, like, kind of edgy vibes. I don't know, that's the vibe I'm getting off her. I like both of these kids so much. I do think that maybe they've got a little bit more of their father's genes than we ended up getting from Luke. No, there's quite a lot of Luke in there. But we didn't get Luke's nose or eyes with Briar, but we did get them with Forrest. And I think we got quite a lot of Luke with uh, Zane as well. Okay, and then her hair was like that sandy color. And I'd say it ended up a little bit straighter than it did with Austin. And I'm feeling like I'm trying on like side parts and center parts with her. I think she's a center part sim. Like that suits her way more. I'm gonna go for this kind of hair because I feel like that to me feels very much like Trey's daughter's hair. Now she's still a hacker, but she's had a slightly different upbringing. So I'm gonna, her aesthetic, I will also do a little bit differently. I'm gonna keep it still kind of dark, but just a little different. Her dad is sporty, but he doesn't like children. She's definitely got his physique, but I like the idea that she like, cause he pushed her into sports. She kind of went the opposite direction and went a little bit more like feminine, but like edgy feminine. But I still need to make her look like a hacker. Like she should still have hacker energy. Okay, I'm finding her very hard. Trying to do hacker and edgy and feminine and not sporty. I just don't think I have the CC for it. So I'm just gonna go with her like opposite of sporty. Or like just very, very feminine, like very different. Very different to what we've been doing with the girls before. But she's kind of got an edge to her, but you can't really tell by the way she dresses. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Also, like you can dress very girly and still be an amazing hacker, you know? The two aren't mutually exclusive, so I am going to keep this like quite different look for her. I like it. I think it's really cool. She's got like a nobody would suspect, but then you're kind of stupid for not because she's actually genius. And I want to give her little cute socks as well. Okay, so this is Marielle Brown. She, I love how she's so short. Both of them are so short. Which, which appearance do you guys prefer? Do you prefer Marielle, which is Trey and Robin? I like her face. I think she's really cool looking. Or do you prefer Irvin, which is Austin and Robin? <gasps> They're both so cute, but in different ways. You, she is so Cara Delevingne. She is so much like her. Let me know which one you guys prefer in the comments below. And we're going to move on to my final one, which I'm really, really excited about. So obviously Clem ended up with Keenan, and then we got Coral and Blossom and Coral ended up being our heir. So it's going to be a male sim this time. So we'll grab Clem and we will grab Zach, little sweet cute Zach. And we're going to be making a little boy. So one, two, three. Okay, so Clem, if you guys remember, Clem went into the criminal career and she ended up producing Coral. She was a little pirate as a child and that's how her and Zach met because Zach was her childhood friend and he had a huge crush on her. And I can now confirm in cast, I wasn't just making that up. He genuinely did have a huge crush on her. But Zach was like very soft, like sweet kind of guy. And she didn't, she wasn't really interested in that. I did not attract her one bit. So she ended up going for the bad boy. But what would have happened if Coral, rather than being Keenan's son, would have been Clem and Zach's son? Let's go ahead and find out. So I'm gonna go for, again, because Clem's hair is orange because of the not so berry, I'm gonna kind of go for the father's features a little bit more with this. Zach has greeny blue eyes. Let's go for those greeny blue eyes. Yeah. These ones right here, because I think they're a nice mixture of both parents. Actually, you know, you've got purple eyes. Definitely not a mixture of your eyes, but we'll keep these ones because they're very cute, very pretty. And Coral ended up genuinely as like a really lovely sim. He was quite frustrated by his mother and like the fact that he didn't get the childhood he expected. He knew that she was a criminal. So as a result, he ended up going very much the opposite way. But there was a lot of bitterness and resentment in there, which he channeled into his writing because he became a writer. But for this child who is called Justin, Justin Berry, he wouldn't have had all of that rage, you know, because he'd have grown up with like Zach. 
So rather than having two parents that were complete, it was like having two extra children in the house, basically. You would have instead had Zach, who I think would have provided a much more stable upbringing. So I don't think he would have been like quite as bitter, but maybe also not quite as gifted at writing. Maybe that was the secret to Coral's success because Blossom had a nicer childhood and her writing was never as well recognized. He got recognized as a child. Now, I kind of want to give like the long hair that I feel like, you know, is similar to what Zach had as a child. Yeah, something like this. But actually, is the one with a slightly more ready tone? <gasps> yeah, okay, so this has a bit more red in it, which I think is good, because then that's a little bit of Clem coming through. Okay, so this child is so soft and sweet. I feel like this is going to be a little Zach clone, but we won't know until we dress them up. So Zach was very like, he loved a cardigan, didn't he? So I want to give his kid like a little cardigan too, a little green cardigan. And oh my gosh, I bet Zach would be, have been such a great dad. Not that Keenan wasn't, he was just different. You know, Keenan was a different kind of dad. So here is little Justin Berry. Let me know what you think of him. He's so cute. He's actually killing me right now. And for comparison, uh, wait, let me age him up and I'll show you how Coral ended up looking. So let's do him as a young adult in three, two, one. I'm really interested to know whose features he gets from a side profile. Okay, I feel like I can see a lot of Clem straight away. Yeah, that's a Clem nose. That is 100% a Clem nose. Okay, we're getting some very strong Clem features. So I'm glad I kept the hair color and the eye color the same as Zach's. Okay, I'm just gonna add his eyes and skin details back on. Wait, I can't tell whose eyes they are though. Is that Zach's eye shape? It kind of is, but also kind of isn't and it's also definitely not clem's eye shape either so i don't know where he got those eyes from that's so interesting okay so i checked and zach uses this face overlay but because it's changing the eye shape i'm gonna switch to this one so that we keep the og eye shape i'm gonna give him quite red cheeks like rosy cheeks because zach has those okay i'm gonna lighten his eyebrows just a touch and then let's find his hair or some hair for him. Would he have gone with his dad's longer hair? Maybe somewhere in the middle? These were the hairs that I always gave Coral. Like these are like classic Coral hairs. I think he had that one or yeah, somewhere around here. And then I guess like the ready brown equivalent would be this. I've got to say, I think I did the right thing picking Keenan. I don't think I'm a big fan of a Zach and Clem child. For me, I just don't think it works. I'm not really digging him. Let me know what you guys think. I will show you how Coral ended up looking so you can do a compare and contrast. Coral dressed like quite like hipster, like alternative because he was like the opposite of his parents. I kind of like the idea that Justin keeps up this cute little cardigan trend or maybe like the little sweater over the sure yeah i think that's the right look for him so just like a bit more of a gentler soft appearance because i feel like he would have had a gentler softer little childhood okay i think we're done so let me dig out coral for you guys so here was teen coral he was clearly a total heartthrob let's face it and then he grew up very well let's okay there's some interesting faces there but he grew up very well. And then genuinely, he aged like a fine wine. Let's face it. I am very much a Coral fan. So because of that, I'm sorry, Justin, but this just ain't it. You can't compare. I just don't think you can compare him to Coral. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So here are our three offspring from our Sims that could have been. Erwin Berry, who I actually love. Uh, that could have been a whole moment. I really love it, but I don't think she beats Briar. Marielle Brown, who, again, very, very different. And I love how badass her face looks. Like, she's just got really tough girl energy, which is why I kind of did the opposite with how she was dressed. But again, I just don't think she beats Briar. And then we've also got Justin, who, for me, definitely doesn't beat Coral. So this was interesting to do, but in my opinion, the originals are the best. If I had to pick one, I'm going to be picking Erwin, which is Austin and Robin's child. I want to know which one you guys would pick in the comments below. If you would like to see any more of these, just drop your suggestions. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.